We are here together, Lord, to hear your words, Lord. We gather together in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, believing that the Holy Spirit is in, in the midst of us, Lord. We want to hear kind of story that happened a long time ago, 4,000 years ago, what happened in Sodom and Gomorrah. That is the judgment of God. Through that, through the history, Lord, we want to understand what kind of judgment shall coming to this evil world. Open our eyes so we may be able to see how much wicked and evil world around us, Lord. And so we may be able to prepare to see Lord Jesus Christ in the midst of godliness. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Yeah, let me read the book of Psalm chapter 11. It is related to today's sermon, okay? In the Lord put I my trust. How say you to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain. For lo, the wicked band into their how their bow, they make ready the arrow upon the string that they may privily shoot at upright in heart. If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is on his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try the children of man. The Lord tries the righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violence his soul hateth. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares fire and brimstone and then horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. For the righteous Lord loveth righteousness. His countenance does behold the upright. Amen. Okay, let me read the book of Genesis, chapter 18, 21 through 19, 28. This is what happened, really happened, you know, 4,000 years ago. Okay, listen very carefully. It really happened. The judgment of Sodom and Gomorrah. You know, so where is Sodom and Gomorrah? You know, the Palestine, land of Palestine, there is Dead Sea, right? Yeah, under the Dead Sea, all kind of positions, Sodom and Gomorrah was sunk. You know, sank underneath of Dead Sea. There's, there's many, lots of salt, you know. There's no fishes. Even uh, anybody who can uh, not swim, they can swim, you know, because too much salt, you know, they can, they, they lie down on the water, you know. Yeah. All right. Genesis chapter 18, verse 21. Actually, you know, the God uh, came to Ab uh, Abraham in the form of man with his two angels. Okay, then God, you know, came to him, first of all, uh, to give Abraham, you know, a covenant, you know, next year his wife shall be pregnant, okay? is the promise, son of promise. And secondly, the reason he just brought two angels is to, to uh, brought judgment, to bring judgment of God with fire and brimstone, okay? All right. Then God, 
It's talking about you know judgment, his judgment. Okay. Then uh, Abraham thought about his nephew. His name is Lot. He uh, already lived in uh, Sodom because by the time the Sodom was very good land, you know, enough water, you know, enough trees, whatever. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking about if you know God, you know, um, a judgment on them. Uh, his nephew should die too. And that's why you know a God, uh, you know, Abraham, speaking to the to God. Yeah, and Abraham drew near and said, "Will thou also destroy the righteous with the wicked?" For adventure, there is fifty righteous within the city. Will thou also destroy and not spare the place for the fifty righteous that are therein? That be far from that to do after this manner, to slay the righteous with the wicked, and that the righteous should be as the wicked. And be far from thee shall not the judge of all the earth to write. And the Lord said, If I find in Sodom fifty righteous within the city, then I will spare all the place for their sake. Well, we don't know how many people live in Sodom at the time, but if fifty righteous found, he we are not judged. Oh, what about in the city of Los Angeles? Think about that. And Abraham answered and said, Behold, now I have uh, taken upon me to speak unto the Lord, which am but dust and ashes. For the venture, there shall lack five of the fifty righteous. There's a forty-five, right? Will thou destroy all the city for lack of five? And he said, If I find three, uh, there are forty and five, I will not destroy it. I have no, uh, no more than forty-five. And he spake unto him yet again, and said, Peradventure there shall be forty found there. And he said, I will not do it for forty's sake. No forty even. And he said unto him, Oh, let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak for the venture the shell. Thirty he found there, and he said, I will not do it if I find thirty there. <laughs> Even no thirty, right? And he said, Behold now, I have taken upon me to speak unto the Lord for the venture. There shall be twenty found there, and he said, I will not destroy it for to any sake. And he said, Oh, let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak yet, but this one's preadventure. Ten shall be found there. And he said, I will not destroy it for ten sake. Even no ten righteous men living there. All the people are wicked, evil. What about America? What about Korea? I don't know. Yeah, uh, chapter 19. And there came two angels to Sodom at even, and Lot sat in the gate of Sodom. And Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them, and he bowed himself with his face toward the ground. Yeah, Lot knows who they are. Only Lot, only one man, Lot, was righteous at the time. And he said, Behold, now, my Lord, turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house, and tarry all night, and wash your feet, and you shall rise up early, and go on your ways. And they said, Nay, but we will abide in the street all night. And he pressed upon them greatly, 
And they turned in unto him and entered into the house. And he made them a feast and did bake unleavened bread and they did eat. But before they laid down, the man of the city, even the man of Sodom, compassed the house around, both old and young, all the people from every quarter. And they called unto Lot, and said unto him, Where are the men which came into thee this night? Bring them out unto us, that we may know him. What that means, may know him. What that means, they want to have a sexual relationship. They must be gay, you know that? What about in uh, Los Angeles? West Los Angeles, West Hollywood, 40% of them gays. You didn't know that? Even Korea, even Israel. Yeah, they are so prideful. And Lot went out at the door unto them and shut the door after him and said, I pray you, brethren, do not know wickedly. Behold now, I have two dollars which have not known man. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you and do you to them as is good in your eyes. What a miserable thing it is. You said two angels, you want to just, you know, give up two, two uh, daughters, right? Virgin daughters. Only unto these men do nothing. For thereafter, therefore came they under the shadow of my roof. And they say, stand back. And they said again, this one follow came into sojourn and he will these be a judge now will we a deal worse with them with thee than with them and they pressed sore upon the man even not and came near to break the door. But the man put forth their hand, that angel, right? Put the hand and pulled Lot into the house to them and shut to the door. And they smote the man that were at the door of the house with blindness. <laughs> you know, angels made them blind. Yeah, they can do that. Both the small and great. Is that they Weird, they wearied themselves to find the door. And the man said unto Lot, Hast thou here any besides, son-in-law, and the sons, and the daughters, and uh, whatsoever thou hast in the city, Bring them out of this place. He asked, you know, to Angela asked a lot, you know, to take all your family members to out of this city, you know, because, you know, to be judged pretty, you know, pretty good, you know, right away. For we will destroy this place because the cry of them is waxing great before the face of the Lord, and the Lord has sent us to destroy it. And Lot went out and spake unto his sons-in-law, which married his daughters, and said, Ah, oh, get you out of this place, for the Lord will destroy this city. But he seemed as one. They mocked unto the sons-in-law. Yeah, they, you know, they said, Oh, what a joke, you know, father-in-law. 
Same thing. If somebody says, tonight, you know, judgment of God will come unto Los Angeles. You know, all, all, almost the people say, you joke? You crazy? Right? And when the morning arose, then the angel hastened Lot, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters, which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. And within the lingered, the man laid hold upon his hand and upon the hand of his wife and upon the uh, hand of his two daughters, the Lord being merciful unto, unto him, and they uh, brought him forth and set him without the city. And it came to pass when they had brought them forth abroad that he said, Escape for thy life. Look not behind thee, neither stay thou in all the plain and escape to the mountains, and lest thou, thou be consumed. And Lot said unto them, unto them, O, oh, not so, my Lord. Behold, now thy servant hath found grace in thy sight, and thou, thou, best, you know, thou hast magnified thy mercy, which thou hast shewed unto me. In saving my life, saving my life, and I cannot escape to the mountain unless some evil take me and I die. And then the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. And he overthrew those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the cities and that which grew upon the ground. But his wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt. Yeah, it is a true story what happened, okay? When God came to Abraham, you know, with two angels in the shape of man, he said that through the two angels who came together, Sodom would be judged by fire. God spoke to Abraham as if he were his friend. Shall I hide from Abraham the thing which I do? You know, Jesus also said to his disciples, You are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. Yeah. If we obey Jesus, we live in godliness. We obey the commandment of God, Jesus Christ. You know, He will be our friend. What is a friend? Anytime we can talk. Through prayer. Abraham continued to live in the land of Canaan, which God had promised to give him and his children of Israel. But his nephew Lot went into the land where God's judgment would come. He was seeking the lust of the flesh, the lust of eyes, and pride of life. When Abraham heard that God had sent two angels to judge Sodom, he thought of his nephew, Lot, and said, Will thou also destroy the righteous with the wicked? No, God is not that kind of God. Later on, when the people of Israel were doing much worse sins than the Sodomite, the Lord God spoke through the prophet Ezekiel, of what was the sin of Sodom. What God, you know, would say to the city of Los Angeles, city of New York, city of Chicago, city of Korea, South Korea, city of Jerusalem, and so on. As I live, says the Lord God, Sodom, thy sister, has not done. She nor her daughters, as thou hast done. Thou and thy daughters, behold, 
This was the iniquity of thy sister Sodom. You know, call Israel people as sister Sodom, the same kind of sin. Pride for leaves of bread. Yeah, pride for leaves of bread. And abundance of idleness was in her, and in her daughters did, did, did she strengthen the hand of the poor and needy. How many homeless is living in 50, 60,000 people, right? And they were haughty and committed abomination before me. That is what? That is homosexuality. Therefore, I took them away as I saw good. The city we live in, the land of America, as well as our homeland Korea, even Israel, are doing what Sodom did in the past, even worse. Abraham is a model of spiritual Christian living in a spiritual kingdom of God, not compromising with the world. And Lot is a model of a carnal Christian who is saved but follows the lust of the flesh, the lust of pride, you know, eyes and, and the pride of life. Abraham is also a figure of a Christian who denies himself and follows the Lord in a narrow path, taking up his cross. And Lord is a figure of a corrupted Christian who goes into a wide path unto destruction. When the two angels came to Sodom, Lot was sitting at the gate of Sodom. He was kind of already sitting in some honorable position in Sodom because he was rich. When he saw the two angels, he would have felt some ominous thing. He got up and greeted them and bowed his face to the ground as they were staying in Lot's house. The man of the city saw them both old and young, surrounded his house, the house, and said to Lot, Where are the men? That's the angel, right? Which came into thee this night. Bring them out unto us, that we may know him. You want to have a sexual relationship. All of them must be gays, whether young or old. At the time, we are able to see how much homosexuality among the people of Sodom, regardless of age, was prevailed. Also, the world we live in including the city of Los Angeles, especially West LA, even some, even some people in West Hollywood are proudly calling themselves living in Sodom without God and blaspheming God by saying, we are in Hollywood in the belly of the beast. What's the beast? The entire Christ to come. Insulting Jesus Christ. When Lot heard the angel's words and said to his son-in-law, who married his daughters, God's judgment came on and said to them to go out of the city. But they considered it a joke. Nowadays, most people who live in the world also the judgment of God coming as a joke. God remembering Abraham's prayer urged Lot through two angels to rescue him and told him to get up quickly with his wife and two daughters. But his wife, who lived belong to the world, turned the bed and became a pillar of salt. Even in the midst of judgment, she looked back, thinking about what she had left behind. Yeah, you know, fire, burning, everything, but she just turned back. Oh, Finally, God sent sulfur, brimstone, and fire from heaven on Sodom in Gomorrah like rain and overturned the city with the inhabitants and the thing that grow on the earth in the Dead Sea area where Sodom was judged by fire and brimstone. There are still sulfur that had fallen in. When it was lit, it would puncture a stainless steel spoon. A long time ago, Korean Broadcasting Company, 
the team of the program we want to know it they show the sin they lit you know sulfur on the stainless spoon all of a sudden they happen big hole in the middle of a spoon I saw that Apostle Peter he gave a warning message about what the flood judgment at the north time and the judgment of God in Sodom and Gomorrah meant and spared not the old world but saved Noah the eighth person a preacher of righteousness bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overflow, making them an example unto those who after should live ungodly, and deliver just lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Yeah, even born again Christian, you were living in the city, you know, always day and hot feeling, right? Seeing the wicked people. God spoke through Apostle Paul about what would happen before the judgment of the world that had become the Sodom in the future. But of the time and seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you, for yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety. Now, now, people say peace and safety. Peace means economically. Safety is politically. No war. Then sudden destruction comes upon them as to veil upon a woman with a child and they shall not escape. Yeah, that's right. But Christians who are spiritually awake and not in the darkness of the world's sin shall allow the judgment to come in advance, as Apostle Paul testified. But you brethren, you are not in darkness, that the day should overtake you as a thief. You are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. And sober means don't drink, right? Don't let any alcohol, you know, come into your blood vein. For they that sleep, sleep in the night. And they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us, who are of the day, be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith, and love and for an helmet, the hope of salvation, for God hath not appointed us to wrath but to obtain the salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, it is time for us to wake, okay? So that the day of the Lord may not come a thief in the night. I bless all of you to be awakened spiritually, all right? To open your understanding open spiritual eyes to see what's going on. Same thing is going on in America, all over the world, even Israel. The judgment of God is very near. You may be, you may be able to feel that, to be man of God, woman of God. I bless all of you in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.